Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex over at Laser Everything, and we unboxed a ton of stuff on a giant live stream we did not too long ago. Now, the live stream is mostly not unboxing. It's us answering questions and me doing stuff in the background. It's a very long stream, and I know a lot of you guys don't have the time to sit and watch the whole thing, so I took all of those unboxings and broke them down into individual episodes that we have fully edited. The sound is a little wonky. We were getting interference on the wireless lab, and I didn't notice anything until afterwards. I did my best with it. That said, I hope that you guys can enjoy or appreciate these unboxings a little more in their edited form. In this edited part of the live stream, we're unboxing the GZ Tech GM80. It's an 80 watt, two millijoule laser source, and we're gonna use it for a DIY fiber laser build project. This thing is really cool, and we've never handled a piece of equipment like this before directly, so it's a fun unboxing for sure. All right, that's that. Let's go ahead and get on with the unboxing. Second item on the list, guys. This is a fiber laser source. This came from a new company called GZ Tech. My understanding is that they are comprised of employees that left JPT, wanted to make their own laser sources. And they reached out to me. They wanted some help kind of promoting their, their product and their new business. And they don't make machines, so they couldn't just like ship me a machine and say, hey, here's a machine, try out our source. So uh, I was talking back and forth with Kyle about it for a while, and there was some interest from the community some interest from the LMA members for a fiber laser build video. So this is the official announcement. <laughs> this is the first time we're talking about it on the channel. We are going to do a fiber laser build project. Uh, we've been looking at cases. We've been looking at power supplies. We're talking to Sino Galvo about getting Galvo heads. BJJCZ, of course, is going to shoot a controller over. So we'll have all the parts. Um, we're going to build our own source inside the box here. And we do need to be very careful, guys, because this is a... Uh, in fact, I'm going to put some gloves on. So it looks like they have a nice spec sheet here. This is a 2.0 millijoule fiber laser source. It's the 80 watt GM variant. It's got a frequency range of 1 to 3,000 kilohertz. So slightly less than JPT, but these sources are a lot cheaper as well. If we go ahead and remove the top foam here, here just right away, we can see we have our fiber optic cable. It's not super tightly coiled or anything like that. This is really responsible packaging. I'm happy to see that. And then we have our emitter here. They do have a nice rubber cap on the emitter. This is super cool. So here's our emitter. Things that I don't know about yet because this is the first time that we've really kind of done like a DIY or build project. So I'm gonna have to do some learning about what these different screws and knobs and dials are for but we're gonna learn we're gonna learn together and uh, if we just very carefully move this out of the way can you tell that they uh they used to work at jpt kyle yeah it, it's kind of telling right yeah a little telling it does come with a usb serial cable so you can hook this up to your computer if you need to do diagnostics or you need to find out you know any kind of like goings-ons with your source you can plug that directly in i'm really glad they included that that's something we'll take a look at on the channel we'll check out the software and see how we easy that is to read in here we also have our like this uses a 24 volt power supply which is surprising 80 80 watts on 24 volts kyle very surprising Must be wicked power efficient yeah and or super high current right <laughs> very simple just kind of the normal pitchfork ends on those to connect to your power supply plain and simple and let's take a look at the actual source itself i wish i had like three more hands um i'm going to I'm gonna set that down right there so we can lift this with two hands so there are warranty void stickers on the front there there's your fan array kind of like a neat honeycomb pattern or fan we have have on the back here, of course, our fiber optic cable exit point from the machine, some heat sinks. This is an air-cooled unit, and we have our two serial ports. And I do they include the serial cables? Might have to pick up a couple serial cables. They may or may not be included with that USB cable, but I'm not sure. So one of these will go to our controller, and I'm not sure what the other one is for, but we'll figure it out. Today is not the build video, today is just the unboxing. So here it is, guys: 80 watts, 2.0 millijoule 
peak pulse power on that bad boy. And uh, this will be the source that we use for our build project. When we do a build project, we'll probably start that early next year uh, in the in the spring, at some point in the spring. I don't want to commit to a date yet because we're just so backed up right now. That's very, very cool, very exciting. And uh, this is the first time we've ever actually handled it, uh, like the raw equipment like this. What do you, what do you think, Kyle? Have you got a, uh, you got a- I think it's- I think it's pretty. I think they did a, a, a good job on uh, on packaging. I think they yeah, did a good job definitely. on finish. Very thoughtful. And I'm kind of excited to see what we can do with this because realistically, I don't see a lot of people going beyond 3000 frequency anyway, or even 2000 frequency is kind of the highest I've seen most people use. So and these are, these are about two thirds of the price of their JPT counterparts as well. So yeah, so this might be a good kind of middle ground of, of being able to save some money and and still stay within the effective range of what you might need. Totally. Uh, so this is GZ Tech. Uh, GZ Tech, uh, again, a, a JPT spinoff company from X. Uh, JPT employees. Thank you guys so much for watching this part of the unboxing series from the live stream that we did a few weeks ago. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope editing down that live stream made it a little easier to consume and digest. We've got a lot more unboxings coming, a little more traditional, what you're kind of used to seeing as far as regular laser everything videos. So we'll be getting to those very soon. If you got value out of this, don't forget to smash the like button. Let everybody else know that the content is good. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified the next time we upload a video. If you love the channel and you want to support all the work we're doing over here at Laser Everything, please consider signing up for the Laser Master Academy. It's the number one way to support the channel, and everything we do here is thanks to the members supporting us over there. You can find out more over at masters.lasereverything.net. As always, guys, links to the free Discord and Facebook group down below. But that's all I've got for today, so thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Thank you.